All right, welcome to Smokey Approved Korea. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out another song from uh, Sugar or August D album. I think we have two more after this. This one is called Han Sul, so that's what we're here to check out today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you could, please hit that like, subscribe, Patreon's in the description if you would like to support the channel directly or would like early or exclusive access to anything I'm working on. That said, let's get into this one and see what we got. I, I, it should be good. I've been very very much very much that people record i see really speaks to a lot of you guys as well so i'm really appreciating the fact that i see that sugar or august d really speaks for a lot of people that may not say the things that they feel internally outwardly and then they're able to find themselves and the voice that they want to have in his music so i find that to be very um I want to use the word comforting, but I don't feel like that's the right usage. But I guess that's the best word I have right now. Is I guess that's very comforting to see from somebody's music that it can provide that, um, like that life raft in like a stormy sea. People will just chuck on people or something and be like, ah, life's good again. It was, it was a little rocky, but I've heard this now. So let's see what we get for Hansel, though. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Dial 6137. I don't know why we dial that though. If so anybody can explain the relevance of that, that'd be dope. This is probably the darkest sounding song I've heard. And it gives currently, especially with the image I'm looking at, even though it's just a window at sunset, like it gives a very eerie feeling just hearing kind of that little vocal sample with the detoned uh, effects on it. Excuse me, detoned, detuned effects on it. Like, and then it drops into that real heavy bass. And then that vocal sample comes in a little heavier. It's like, oh, what am I about to get? I detoxify with a drink. Now, when I read that I detoxify with a drink, I'm like, are oh, you cheeky motherfucker? How like how do you detox with a poison? And I read it as drink as in, like, he's having an alcoholic drink. So, like, I detox. Like, I'm trying to wash away whatever bullshit from the day prior or whatever I'm dealing with with this alcoholic drink. That's why I say that. Yeah, so also, two minutes in, the arrangement structure of this song is very um, non-atypical. Most songs are intro, pre-hook, hook, verse, pre-hook, hook, verse, pre-hook, hook, hook, outro, maybe outro hooks again, and then outro one more time. Super formulaic. This is arranged in an exceptionally long intro into directly into a verse into no verse into just more musical arrangement sections 
probably going to be back into another verse, but this song possibly might not even have a hook on it. It's just music and some vocal sections. And the way that the musical sections are arranged, they're not arranged like an atypical song. So this is why I'm like, the creativity and the freedom of expression allowed is just, it's always mind boggling. Just really kind of just paying attention to how they're doing their songs. I'm like, what? They just let him do this. Like the biggest pop group member is just like, ah, yeah. I'm about to make a song that just bastardizes everything I've been taught and like not do it. But then it feels good because this is the type of music that I enjoy to listen to because it doesn't feel like somebody just went in there and did the standard stuff. You are attempting to evoke an emotion and create a moment with the music you're making. And I far rather listen to that than to somebody doing the whole, I plugged in the hooks here, I plugged in the verses here, and I did the outros and the intros where they needed to be. I have a really good song now. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not even close. Not even close. I would prefer to listen to music that sound like this over most of those formulaic setups. Wait, I'm totally wrong. There is a hook on here, though. But it doesn't even feel like a hook, but it's for sure a hook. Okay, from the first two hooks or first two verses and how this hook sounds, this sounds like a song where honestly, oh boy, just sounds like he just wants to escape. Like, and escape is the for lack of a better word, but that's how it feels. It's like he just wants to escape. Like, maybe it's rest, but like truly to just disappear. That's more so how I feel from hearing this song. It's like if if Sugar could just disappear for a bit it'd probably be really uh, freeing and refreshing to him is how this song uh, reads and sounds to me. call it there because this is gonna be vocal sample and beat after that drink a solo or is that what han Sul means is just drink a solo because uh that that it for sure said han Sul on the screen when i clicked it but uh yeah the song overall very enjoyable i like the spacey sad nature of the hook even though he's talking about flying the song overall gives you kind of like a darker, sadder feel from the production. The lyrics give you kind of an open perspective of like what it's like to be Sugar once he decides to return to his yard and the things he has to deal with, which is very refreshing as well because we get to kind of really see what Sugar may be thinking about like once he's really, really home. Because how the song was written is like he's not home at the like – lush house that he's paid for for himself i feel like he went back to like his parents house jesus christ come on guys so it sounds like he wrote this from like the pers jeez all right oh yeah i'm doing that video too god damn it i don't even got all the wrong videos here come on there we go all right yeah so it yeah, seems like fully clean. yeah come on crap i'm gonna do that video later blood chill out all right drink is solo though Seems like he wrote the song from being at his parents' house. Like, I've finally gotten back to a place that I feel safe and that is home. Now that I'm home, what happens with myself and the rest of my time once I close this door? And these are the thoughts that happen with me in this time. And that's what this song sounds like and how it was written to me in my brain. 
that said, thank you guys for joining me. Please do hit that like, subscribe. Patreon's in the description box. I really do appreciate each of you supporting the channel the way you have been. That said, I'm out of here. See you on the next one. Peace.